Hello and welcome to this battle spotlight where we're going to be looking at some of the changes that we've made to battles in Total War Three Kingdoms. We have increased the amount of unit sizes that we have available to you with the new extreme unit size. When we pop the UI on right there, you can see that we've got it on with 240 soldiers in a single unit. That's a lot of men. <laughs> and a lot of horses too. Yeah, yeah, so we've increased the uh, the cavalry from 40 to 60 as well. So across the board, we're going to see a 50% increase in the amount of soldiers per unit, which is quite a lot. So if we, uh, if we just zoom out here and take a look at our battle line, fully stretched out, we can see that we're almost taking up the entire deployment zone. And this is an open field battle as well. So if you see, um, if you see a, a, an army like this coming at you, that's a lot of people you're going to have to deal with. It's going to change the game up a little bit, for sure. Have you played a, a Siege with this kind of unit size yet? Yeah, Sieges are also something that uh, are going to feel a little bit different in this, uh, in this unit size because um, with 240 men in one unit, you can block up those those choke points that you get, not just in sieges, but in things like forests and and, uh, and those more sort of like river battles as well, uh, which means that you're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of use out of a single unit. And those choke points, especially if you've got a few units there to, to defend it, it's going to become quite a slog to get through. So uh, defending those choke points are going to be really important in, in, uh, in matches like that. And you can do it with a lot fewer amounts of units in one place. So just as you've got more men in a unit, you've also got more tactical applications that you can use with that single unit on its own. Uh, so as I said, stretching the entire deployment zone, that's going to be a large amount of soldiers to deal with, which is going to make your micro a little bit more difficult as well. So if you're, uh, if you're not necessarily much of an expert when it comes to Total War, maybe you're a bit of a new player, I wouldn't recommend the, uh, the new extreme unit sizes straight away, because even though you're playing with the same amount of units, the fact that they're so much bigger makes it a lot more difficult to maneuver them around, yeah. uh, to get them into the right places, even just to be able to see them all on one screen at one time, right? If I'm looking at my left flank, it's so much more uh, far away from my right flank than it used to be. And um, that, I think, is where cavalry is going to become a lot more important yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. So if we look at um, one of our cavalry units, for example, here, um, these guys are going to become your, your mainstay because they're so much more maneuverable than your main forces. If you want to get a proper line clash going, the odds are you're not going to be able to micromanage that entire line clash all at once. You know, the AI is going to have a bit of an advantage there, and it's actually probably going to make it a little bit more difficult for more seasoned players as well, because the AI can, you know, literally look at everything at once because it is a robot. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the human players are going to have a bit of a disadvantage there where trying to keep track of every single little part is going to become really difficult. So not only um, the micromanagement that has changed, there's also a few changes to the units themselves because if we look at this uh, yellow dragon unit, for example, so let's drag it out to its full width. So that's 240, that's the cap for the, for the new um, infantry unit size. And you can see that even though we've got it dragged to its full width, we've still got six lines of infantry. That's six lines deep, so that's a lot of different front lines waiting their turn to attack. And because of that, even though you've got way more soldiers dealing more damage, you've also got a lot less actually fighting on the front line uh, percentage-wise than you would with a smaller unit size. So because the percentage of people right on the front actually dealing damage has changed, even though you've increased the health pools, you're not necessarily getting through that health as quickly as you would do in the past. Yeah. So that's going to sort of make those engagements from unit to unit a little bit longer played out as well. So that might slightly increase your battle times mm. and stuff like that. And, uh, and with all these extra uh, soldiers on the field, you might want to tweak your, your UI slightly. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so if we if we hover over uh, some of the options that we have on our spacebar menu here, so holding down spacebar brings up the UI quick menu. We've got three options here. You can either turn things off completely. So let's look at that big circle here for our character Aurora. So you can turn that off completely. You can have it only visible when you've got your uh, spacebar held down. So if we turn that off, then it shrinks away. Or we can have it locked so that holding down space doesn't need to be used for you to be able to see it at all times. Uh, so a lot of things you'll find uh, are turned on to that sort of spacebar only mode. Let's have a look at some of the things that we can use to make things a little bit easier for you when you've got so many units. So if we uh, click the red card here, we can see that we get rid of those character portraits as well. So if you're looking for more of a sort of stripped back UI, so you can see as much of the battlefield as possible, then that's one of the other ways. Yeah, I know a lot of people like to get completely immersed with it very minimal UI so yeah. yeah you can do that too yeah of course you can literally just turn 
everything off, right? So you could just have it as uh, as barren as you want it. Yeah. Um, but that's Throw good. those cinematic bars up as well. Yeah, Why exactly, <laughs> right? And you've got the cinematic mode available for you there as well, so you can have that set locked on exactly, uh, for the space bar when you've got that put on. So um, a few different options there. One of the other things that we should point out as well, um, once you're nice and far away from your units, maybe you've got something blocking, difficult to see where everyone is. Um, occlusion outlines are a uh, new way of being able to see where units are through terrain, right? So mm. these won't pop up when you've got them in your line of sight, yep. but when you block them with something like these trees, or for example, even the ground itself, you can see the occlusion outlines popping through. It gives you an idea of where things are. And those will be color coded based on the alliance as well. So your friendly units be green, the enemies be red, stuff like that. As soon as I see the devs tomorrow, I'm putting in a petition that they change it to X-ray vision. X-ray <laughs> vision. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Uh, one other thing that we should point out as well, holding down spacebar at the moment, this is the, the default setting, shows you your line of sight as well. So anything that goes into this sort of monochrome, um, taking away all that nice rich color, you can see that this isn't actually visible to you. So even though you know the layout of the battlefield, there could be a unit standing right here in plain sight, but because you don't have vision on that, you can't actually see that. And you can set that to the space bar so you can only see that when you've got it hovered over as well. So a few a few different things that can um, make your experience on the battlefield with that many units mm. a little bit more manageable. So lots of changes to look forward to, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, make sure to join us on twitch.tv forward slash Total War Official. We'll be doing way more live streams with way more information to come as well. Still got a few things that we haven't shown you guys. Oh, yeah. So make sure to tune in. Uh, if you missed any of our previous streams, then jump on over to the Total War Live YouTube channel as well, where we upload all of our VODs. And you can also watch us live on there as well if you prefer the YouTube format. So it's all good. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next stream.